fish. Oh, nice perch. Another big perch, guys. guys so we are out at the Trousnitz Stausee let's go ahead and get our depth finder going not the best weather for fishing in terms of being the fisherman but overcast warm and a little rainy perfect for Xander fishing so hopefully we can get us a Xander or two that's the goal the only ones out here which is great water level is low usually when the water level is low I do better out here so no excuses a lot of positive things going for us today let's just hope we can get on them so right here is a break we're gonna try fishing this break here just throwing a jig you guys can take a look So we're throwing this little three inch paddle tail. Fish boys. Fish. Might be a perch. Didn't get a good hook in him, so I'm afraid to lose him. Not sure what it is, haven't seen it yet. Oh, it's a nice perch. Big perch. Oh, it's a nice perch, guys. Big perch. Nice. Right on that plateau, boys. Right on that plateau. Nice perch, guys. Let's get him unhooked. Oh yeah, that's a nice perch. Right there in that plateau, I felt him thump it. That was a... Not a bad perch at all, boys. Check that perch out. Not a bad perch. So, first fish. That was easy, huh? Nice perch early, boys. That's what we're looking for. All right, guys, I just, uh, it's raining out here pretty good, so I had to get the waterproof gear on for the camera. And I hope you guys can see. Let me change that around a little bit. So, we're back in the fight, guys. All right, guys, so it's raining, so I had to put some, I had to take the camera down, put a waterproof case on it, so now we're back in the fight. I just had a bump on the very next cast after I caught that, that perch in the same spot, I had a bump. So let's go ahead and get out here, get our line back in the water, and see if we can get us a Xander or Pike, another perch. Wanted some Xander, but I'll take anything at this point. That was a good perch we caught. Should have got a measurement on him. I didn't get a measurement on him. I got bumped. Getting 
Oh, wow, I'm getting tapped. Fish, guys. Another perch, I think. Another perch. Bow flip. There we go, guys. Another perch. The perch are in a frenzy right now. There's two perch, boys. Fish number two. Not, a, not as big as the last one, that's for sure, but still a respectable fish. All right, guys, here's perch number two. Let him go, he's too small. What I might do here in a second is put out, throw out the uh, ultralight. If the perch are gonna bite, I mean, obviously this is gonna, this is gonna weed out some of the smaller ones, but we can sit here and catch 100 perch, why not do it? Uh-oh, they're getting smaller, boys. They're getting smaller. But he actually whacked it. For a little perch, he hit it hard. Okay. They're getting smaller. Fish number three, guys. Fish numero today. So three perch. He actually hit it hard for a little thing. I got the bigger one up this way more. Let's go back this way. But they're hitting it right by the boat, just under the boat, right on that break. It's flat, it's shallow up in here, and then there's a break that comes here. We're fishing the plateau on the down side. Oh, he came off. I lost him. That was a decent one too, guys. God bless it. Dang, that was a better one. I think that was probably closer to the second fish. A little bit better. Another perch, you can already tell. Another perch, boys. Not a bad one either. Not netable. Boat flip. God, look at this perch. Just going insane. That's perch number four right there, boys. Perch number four. Not a bad one at all. Too small to keep though. At least for me. Fish. That's a decent one too. That's a better one guys. No, not bad, but not as big as I thought. Sometimes the big ones will follow in. When you hook one, the big ones will follow them in. All right, guys, there's fish number five. A little tank or two. Fish number five, boys. Right. One perch pattern right now. What I'm gonna do real quick. Try throwing the ultralight for a second. I mean, what I'm doing is working, so I'm not gonna go away from it for too long. I just want to try throwing the ultralight. This little mini jig, real quick. See if I get something on that. I'm sure. I'm sure I will. Maybe not a big one though. That's the thing. Just give this a cast or two, and then we'll switch back over to the jig. See if we can get us a bigger one. Fish already. But I'm tangled around the tip. I got a fish on, but I'm 
the line is wrapped around the, and it's a good fish too. The biggest fish of the day, right here. I think I got wrapped. That was the biggest fish of the day, guys, right there. And I don't know what it was, I got wrapped. When I casted, the line got wrapped around the tip. So when I went to go pick up the slack, I had, a, I had a fish on, and it was big, the biggest one of the day, and then I got wrapped up under the pylon here. God dang. This jig's about dead. Might have to switch for a lively one. Oh, there's perch in here, man. They're off the, I'm getting them off the bottom. I'm letting it sink all the way to the bottom, and then I'm just doing short little bursts of reels, and then they're grabbing them right off the bottom. Just got poked. Fish, guys. Best fish of the day. Best fish of the day. It's a pike. I have a small leader on here, so he's gonna break me off. Oh, he's gonna break me off. Dang, he's gonna break me off. Oh, he's in. Oh, I thought for sure he was gonna break me off. All right, boys, so add a pike to that count. Small one. Choked it too, it looks like. Oh, he's deep. We can get that out though. Oh, Alright guys, so a little pike to go with it. Not a bad, he's bleeding a little bit. He got him a little, I got him a little deep, but uh, we'll get him back in there. Thought for sure he was gonna break my line. Gotta check. Really not even damaged that much, but never be too safe. So I'm gonna cut and retie. It's not worth messing around. He damaged it a little bit. I actually thought he, this is only a 20 pound leader. So I thought for sure. He's gonna break that off. It's not that badly damaged considering it's only 20 pounds and I got him pretty deep. But I'm gonna retie this anyways. It's not worth if I get a big Xander or a big perch or something, and I have a damaged line, it's just not worth it, man. So we're gonna retie here. And while I'm at it. Let's go ahead and put a fresh jig on there because that one's definitely seen some better days. Alright, we're back in the fight. That pike actually took it right below the boat. As I was trying to get back into position. Alright guys, so what's that? Five perch and a pike. Not a bad start to the day. Oh, another fish. Right there. As I was lifting up, I think it's a nice perch. It's definitely a perch. Good one too. Yeah, good perch. Netable perch. Get him 
the net, bro. Yes. Another good perch, guys. Not quite the pattern. There we go, boys. Check out that. Another perch. Good perch right there. Let me fix this net. All right, guys, right there, perch number, perch number six, not bad, not bad. Sunglasses back on, guys, sun's coming out again. I wish my dang anchor would hold so I could stay on top of these fish. The wind's picked up, but I'm not mad. You typically, if you got a little bit of a wind, it, it, fishing is actually a little bit better, especially if it's sunny like this, how it's getting. It has something to do with the refraction and the sunlight penetrating. All right, guys. Next spot. So this spot, there's a plateau that comes here and then deep break. So we're just fishing just on the plateau. We're actually sitting right there at the edge of the plateau. I hope you guys can see that on the right side here. We're just on the edge of that plateau. We're actually not in the best spot. I'd like to be a little bit further to my left, but I can cast over there. Decent perch too. Let's both flip them. Oh yeah. Yeah, there we go, boys. That's a decent perch. I told you I felt something bump me. Something took the tail off. And there's another nice little perch. Another perch, boys. That's number. I believe that's number seven. Number seven. So let's keep it going. Not a bad fish. All right, guys, so let's try throwing this little mini jig out there and see if we get a perch on it. Get this right out of the way. Fish guys, I think a little one. First cast on the mini jig. And that's where we're throwing the mini jig. I mean, it's a small one, it's a small perch. But that's where we're throwing the mini jig right there. Cause these are the little guys hitting at it. The bigger jig, I just can't take it. But a fish is a fish. First cast on the mini jig, little dink. But that's all right, we found the perch. Again. Okay, right, guys, got more casts and then we'll move on. Got two perch here. Not bad, we'll take it. Um, I want a Xander. That's what I really want. We got a couple perch. But it's time to hit the next spot. It's just 
there's a plateau on this side and then down below us it gets deep and then it goes back up there again so hopefully stand up a little bit this time hopefully we can uh get a perch pike xander i think you can get about anything here so let's just get to it Fish, guys. Decent fish. I think it's a good perch. I think it's a real good perch. I don't see it yet. Oh, big perch. Biggest perch of the day. Biggest perch of the day. Biggest perch of the day right there. Ooh, ooh, another big perch, boys. Ooh, another big perch. perfectly on the top lip oh yeah oh check that check that perch out guys check that perch out boys another good perch I don't know if it's bigger than the other one but it's close it's a good fish I know that much nice perch boys All right, guys, so another good perch in the boat. We're on fire, it's eight perch. Caught him right out here, like I said. Right out here. And it's, it's, it's a plateau with some grass, and then it comes down, gets deep, and then up here, it comes up again. That's a perch, it's freaking huge. I'm telling you, if that's a perch, it's a giant. It's pulling the boat. It's gotta be a pike, there's no way that's a perch. Yeah, it's a pike, dang. I was about to say. All right, guys, I got a pike. I thought that was, uh, he got, a, oh, he threw it right there. Oh, he threw it right there. Dang, that's all right, it was a dink, but still, shredded my line. Actually, not too bad. Actually, not too bad. Put too much pressure on when I was trying to get the net. But in fairness, I wasn't as careful with him as I would have been with a perch. I thought that was a big perch, man. Ooh, that would have been a huge perch. I, I, I felt heavy. So I thought if that was a perch, it was a giant, but it was a pike. So this is what I'm talking about guys. I don't know if you can see that or not, but you'll see there's a deep drop right here, right? And there's a plateau, deep drop, deep here, and it comes back up and then another plateau. So we're kind of fishing the edge and then between the plateaus and on this plateau. <sighs> Oh, nice perch. Another big perch, guys. Another big perch. Oh, another big perch. This one might be the biggest one yet, I don't know. Now about the same size as the other ones. Oh, oh he's strong though. Oh, he's not hooked very well. Got him, yes. Dude, another big perch. 
God bless. Oh, he was hooked really well, actually. Took it right below the boat, too. Freaking tank. Freaking chunk. Look at that one, guys. Look at that chunk perch. Another big, big old fat perch. Jeez. Holy smokes. We are on a perch pattern today. I'll tell you what, we came out here to catch Xander, but I'll take whatever they're giving me. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, look at that. So I've kept some smaller ones because we're gonna do a catch and cook with some of the smaller ones. These big ones are pretty slippery. So sometimes they fall back in. All right, boys, I think that's like gotta be what our 10th perch or something. Third big one. Third big one? Yeah, third big one. Some solid ones, which we've kept because we're gonna do a catch and cook with those. Ah, oh, God, nice fish. Good fish, guys. Feels like a Xander. I think it's a Xander. I think it's a Xander. It's either, per, it's either a pike or a zander. It's probably a pike. It's a pike. Not a bad one, though. Let's see if we can get this one. Not a bad pike. Oh, man. I don't have a strong leader on there, so I don't want him to turn his head too much. Jesus. All right. Not a bad pike, guys. Not a bad pike at all. Ooh, the hook actually came out. Where did it go through him? Let's see here. Confused, bud. Not sure what you did. Solid pike. All right, the hook's free. Look what you did to me. That's what happens when you pike fish, or when you catch a pike. You get, your fingers look like that after. I'm not even pike fishing, but when you catch them, they're not the most friendly, bud. Not the most friendly, guys. All right, come on, buddy. All right. It's not a bad pike. Not a bad pike, guys. 25, 26 inches or so, somewhere in there. Maybe 28, somewhere in there. Not a bad pike. This is mean. Son of a bitch, he just cut the shit out of me. He got me good there at the end. Bleeding all over the freaking place. Look at this, guys. Look at this, bloody mess. That's what happens with these, when you catch these stinking pike. God dang. The problem is, I don't, it doesn't really hurt. I mean, you feel it, but the problem is, is they don't stop bleeding. It's just gonna keep bleeding all over the place. It's gonna get annoying. <sighs> Try to keep some pressure on it. But the problem is, it prevents me from fishing now because now I gotta deal with this freaking pike marks. Just waiting to like, till the bleeding stops because I prefer to not all over the gear. Check the leader. Always check the leader. No damage, believe it or not. I actually thought that was a Xander. By the way, he was fighting. I knew it wasn't a. I knew it wasn't a perch, but I thought it might be a Xander.
All right, guys, so our time's winding down a little bit. My time's winding down, I should say. I wanted to get a Xander, but the sun's coming out, and now's not the best time for Xander fishing. So what I think we're going to do is head back to that first spot by the beach, A, we were catching fish there, and B, it's right out, that's where I launched at, was 20 meters from there. So go back there, that's where I'm close to the launching point. Oh. I saw something on the I saw something on the sonar. We'll head back there, hopefully get another perch or two, and they call it a day. A couple big marks in the mid-water column. Just wanted to see if I can get my jig down there. Maybe entice them. I was hoping for some Xander. Ended up finding the perch and some pike, so not mad about that. The Xander weather was probably more in the morning when we were catching those those perch, those first few perch, which is all right. I mean, I'm taking, I'm not gonna leave fish to find fish, right? So we were catching fish. So I'm definitely not gonna pick up anchor and go start trying to find Xander when when I'm catching perch and pike there. So no harm, no foul. We'll head back here. We got about 45 minutes. To try to catch, get some more perch in the boat. So that's what we'll do. So uh, let's get it. Fish guys. I think it's another perch. It might be a pike the way he's fighting. It's a little Xander. It's a little Xander. Uh, little Xander guys, check that out. Got all three, Xander, Pike, and Perch. Barely had him hooked. Hey guys, check it out. A little Xander, right there. Cool. Cool. some pictures with them. I did not expect to get a Xander once the uh, once the sun started coming out. But I'm not mad about it. We got pike, perch, and Xander. That's called a what we call that here in Germany is a raub fish slam, a predatory fish slam. So I got perch, pike, and Xander. Cool. All right, guys, and on that note, I'm just gonna troll around for like the last 30 minutes and shoot, try to shoot a Hail Mary, try to throw up a Hail Mary, see if I can get a Wells catfish. So I'm gonna put on the loudest rattling bait I have. So. So what we're gonna do guys if you don't see me catch anything then thank you for watching please like and subscribe to those youtube things if you do it's probably gonna be because i hooked into a wells catfish i'm gonna throw this deep diving crankbait really loud and i'm just gonna troll around the last 30 minutes and see if i can get me a, a wells i've caught a pike perch and xander now I want to see if I can do the ultimate slam and get a Wells catfish. So I got 30 minutes, then I got to get my butt home. Let's see what happens.
this, if, you, if I don't catch anything, then this footage, you guys will never see this footage. If I do, it's because I hooked into a Wells catfish, so let's get after it. <laughs> 